hello are they laughing at you are they mocking you are they just telling you so weird stuff they just like demotivating you by the way they're saying the way they're laughing at your project at the top of the book that book that no one knows about <gasps> what are you talking about yes good morning my name is Bricia Mayimbo I'm a lifestyle and mindset coach what is my mission my life mission my purpose is to help those people who have suffered from past trauma heal from that trauma so they can be here and seen and finally discover that within themselves there's a greatness so I'm just coming today today and ask you that question have you been just put down are you feeling just demotivating are you just feeling like I don't want to do that thing that I want to do I don't want to pursue my dream I just don't want to do anything why because someone laughed at me, someone mocked me, someone tell me that I couldn't do it. Therefore, I can't believe in myself anymore. I can't believe in my project anymore. I can't believe in that great project that I had. I can't believe in that dream that I had. I can't believe in that, I don't know, such great thing that I had and I did just because when I open my mouth, when I say something to my friend, to my colleague, to my classmate, they mock me, to my brother and sister even. You know, there's a story that I always love and anytime that I want to feel like giving up on something, all right? I always talk about Joseph, all right? The story of Joseph. You know what happened to Joseph? If you read the Bible, we all know that, okay? Or some extent. Joseph told his dream to his brothers, his blood brothers. They were neighborhood or something like blood brothers. And what happened to him? They were laughing at him. They were mocking him. They were looking at me. Who are you? Are we here hanging out together? We were like eating tacos, eating like bubble or whatever we're eating right now. Like, you know, like we say in French, don't like galère. All right? Like, your dreams seem so unrealistic. Like, look around you. What do you see right now? That's what you need to believe. And the story of Joseph just reminds us or should awaken our consciousness to the point that your present situation. All right, your prison, all right, situation, the prison situation is not your destination. Because his dream, you were born with those dreams. The idea that you have, sometimes the book title that you, like it keep on coming back to you every single day. Is the book that you're supposed to write. And that book, all right, everything, every little page has been reading since the beginning, since you were born. What you have to do, just be really conscious. Come back to that true awakeness and realize that within you, regardless of where you came from, regardless of the trauma that you've been through, within you lies a giant. Like that great book title. That's the reason why I want to tell you just to stop, 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 stop. Please stop telling your dream with low minded people. It doesn't matter. Surround yourself with those people who believe in you. If you don't have it, create your own community because whenever you start in the journey, we always think, oh, our family is going to support her. Oh, that my best friend from high school is going to support me. Oh, she's going to buy my book. She's going she's gonna to attend my, watch my podcast. She's going to even, even if the event is free, sometimes the support that you think and expect. And I've done that. I thought about it at first when I was, start, uh, uh, I was starting. But thank God for my coach who was telling me that no. We had a we had a um, an, a, a seminar somewhere and he said no, never ever thought about it. Think about that. Your first client is gonna be your friends. No way, no way. Screw you. Matter of fact, they might be the first one to laugh at you. Yes, yes, yes. They will be the one to laugh at you, to mock at you, to like, just because they don't understand that your dream. They know your dream. Hi hi. They know your dream. Your dream was given to you, not to them. That's why people are laughing at you. Anytime you say, you know, I want to build, I want to be an empire. I want to empower women. I want to empower the life. I want to change a one man at a time. It's just like people will laugh at me. People are, have laughed at me. Hello, how are you? Because they don't understand your dreams. What do you have to do now instead of giving up on your dream is to be surrounded by like-minded people. Find your right community. Because again, for that dream to come true, you need to be in the wrong, in the right uh, soul. So where are you planted right now? Who are you surrounded with? Who are you spending your time with? Because again, we are like the five person that you know, five people of we surrounded us, we're spending our time with. Those people you sharing your dream, those people you talking to on the phone, those people you going hang out on the walk, on the restaurant, whatever, whoever you're surrounding yourself with, you're gonna be part of your success or you're gonna be part of your failure. 
So my friend, I'm telling you, it doesn't matter who doesn't care about your dream. It doesn't matter who doesn't believe in your dream. It doesn't matter who doesn't believe that even though right now you might be like in a hustle, physically, emotionally, financially, all right? It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. God gave Abraham a dream. He asked him to look up. So I want you to look up this morning or this afternoon, whatever the time of the day that you're watching this broadcast, I want you to look up. Because that's why he asked Abraham to look up, that he'll be blessed according to the, you know, it's basically going to be so surrounded that the, the stars in the, in, the, in the sky cannot be counted. And that's why I want you to remember, whatever you feel like, no one believes in you. God believes in you. And you have to believe in yourself first. All right? So I hope that the next time someone laugh at you, someone tell you that you cannot do that wish that they don't believe in, tell them, you know what? I got me. I believe in my dream. If God put that dream in yourself to open a business, to start a business, no matter how small it is, just take the baby step, take a leap of faith, you know, a leap of faith and keep up. Start where you are. Surround yourself. Look for coaches. That's what I had to do. Look for coaches. Start reading books about that subject. Stop opening your mouth and talking to whoever. Because they're not, they're not the one to get knowledge that you have to work on yourself every single day. And remember that I'm going to deliver you with this. We are rewarded with things we do privately. So it doesn't matter if no one believes in you. Keep on polishing. Keep on nurturing that dream. And I'm telling you, one day, one day, even like quicker than you think, your dream will come to that empire will be built that song will be written that book will be written will be published and people will buy it a worldwide so believe in yourself it doesn't matter if they laugh one day they will celebrate you i'm gonna leave you with that to remind you that you were born and created for a purpose so never ever compare your life nor your experience with someone experiences i want you to embrace your uniqueness because you were born unique all right and remember we are here to change lives one man at a time if you have a chance if you want to bless someone if you feel like this message has resonated with you share it good but more likely i want us to grow it's a community go on my youtube channel please and subscribe all right subscribe subscribe and follow me on social media if you have any questions let me know guys i love you guys thank you so much for watching and i see you in my next pop up bye bye thank you king bye bye